Hey, Scorps, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Anthony Pants, Moon's Tarot, coming at you guys with your September 15th through the 30th love tarot reading. All right, this is your mid-month, baby. Let's see what's going on for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 15th through the 30th. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Any messages coming in for you? Keep in mind, guys, this is a general read. Messages may or may not resonate to you. If it resonates, cool. If not, the message probably isn't for you. You can feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers that we got down here on YouTube, all right? Let's see what's going on here. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 15th through the 30th. Flash up. All right. Um, I think that right now you're in a period where you need to uh, heal and seek a lot of balance from your past. It also feels like a lot of anxiety or anxious energy. You're probably overthinking through really negative thoughts. And I think that right now, you really have to go through matters of the heart. And you have to go through a lot of healing, okay? There's a lot of issues right now with your heart chakra. It feels like you're going through a lot of anxiety moments, right? Um, I think that it's time to seek balance and to heal as well as what I'm seeing here. And it almost feels like you're focusing on the wrong thing. You're focusing on something that's not necessarily uh, serving you change your focus to the choose your battles right i think you're in a situation where you need to shift your focus onto something that's more healthy for you and kind of take your focus off of things that are negative and unhealthy and things that aren't serving you so you know of course it's just the oracle not the exact tarot we're gonna get into the tarot next but if any of those messages have any sort of resonation with you you know feel free to know that you know shift your focus away from things that don't serve you put your focus on something positive and something that's gonna make you happy all right all right let's see what's going on here Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 15th through the 30th. What's popping for my Scorps? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 15th through the 30th. Rising, Venus. All right, Scorps, last shuffle. What's popping for you? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 15th through the 30th. All right, my Scorps, what's going on? Scorpio, mutual energy between you and another person is the page of wands in reverse. So right now, you guys aren't giving each other any attention. You're not speaking to one another or anything like that, okay? No passionate communication. If there's any sort of communication, it seems like it's coming from a place of coldness, okay? You guys can be acting very cold to each other, all right? Now, Scorpio, it feels like you're in a situation right now where you're ready to move on and move forward from a person. I think you're coming from an energy or a place where whoever you're dealing with isn't necessarily serving you anymore, okay? Seven of wands in reverse, you're dealing with a person who said something to you, but not only when they said this thing to you, not only did it upset you and offend you, it got you to a place where you were genuinely really ready to move on. Um, whatever came out of this person's mouth, whoever you're dealing with here, they had said something to you or had done an action to you that was kind of at a point where it was like you saw clearly. Um, and I think that you're coming to your senses that this is just not the relationship for you. As for the outcome that I'm seeing here, Page of Pentacles in reverse, you're kind of just breaking the foundation you once had with this person. It feels like you're breaking away from them, not wanting to offer them anything, and trying to move forward for yourself, whether it hurts or not, okay? That's what I'm seeing here, Scorps. Now, in regards to the person you're dealing with, let's take a look at what their feelings are, then we'll go over your feelings and where the energies are aligning and meeting. Keep in mind, if this is the per if the person you're dealing with is your feelings, it can go either way. So this could be your feelings, this could be theirs, or it can, you know, crisscrossing energies, all right? Let's see what's happening here. Let's see what the person you're currently dealing with, let's see what their feelings are in regards to Scorpio. Someone rising in Venus, September 15th through the 30th. All right, what do we got going on over here? Queen of Swords, Justice card. All right. Whoever you're dealing with here, Scorp, it feels like they genuinely did care. They actually did care about you. So you may not think that they did, but it feels like what they said about you came... Okay, let me get you. Let me bring you back. They said something. They did an action. They did something that offended and upset you and hurt you, Scorp. This person loves you, though. When emotions run deep, when emotions run high... People say the dumbest things. People say the most upsetting things. People say things they don't mean. So it feels like no matter what, this person did not necessarily mean what they say. But at the end of the day, though, Queen of Swords to the King of Swords in reverse, they needed to cut you out. They needed to walk away. They needed to breathe. They needed air to go. So they, re you know, they, they, they laid their case. They made their bed and now they're laying in it. They said what they needed to say. They rest their case. They rest their peace. And the Justice card is here. They're focusing on getting back balance and trying to work things out and work the situation out. So right now they know they needed to distance themselves from you because you're already in a vibration where, well, you said this to me. You did this action to me. I need some time alone. I need some space. I'm moving forward. They're like, you know what? They're going to give you that space, but they still want to work it out. So they're waiting for you basically to come back towards them, to come back towards their direction. And then they're going to see when you come back towards them, if you exactly can work it out. Now, in regards to your feelings for them, Scorpio, let's take a look and see what's going on here. Hello. Not yet. We're not ready. All right. But let's take a look at what's going on for your feelings, Scorpio. Someone rising in Venus, September 15th through the 30th. What do you feel for the person you're currently dealing with? 
Now, Scorps, in regards to your feelings here, um, it almost feels like you're not necessarily thinking that it's over yet. Um, you also have a big lack of healing here, okay? So whatever's happening, if I can grab these damn cards, <laughs> Nine of Cups in reverse to the Ten of uh, Swords in reverse. You have this big lack of healing, okay? Um, it's almost very hard for you to end this relationship because I feel like you were so attached, you were so stuck to it, right? I feel like this was a connection or a relationship that you were in for a very long time, so you find it awkward or weird having to move forward with somebody else. You still have um, lurking or remaining feelings for this person, and whatever this person did to you is still upsetting you to this day, so it still feels like you're going through it and you're going through the emotions, right? I think that you've been enlightened that you aren't necessarily ready to let this person go, but you're doing your best to move forward. So showing up as the Three of Wands in reverse, saying that you're moving on, you are moving on because you know with the matters of the heart that you deserve better after what this person's actions were, but a part of you inside is still not ready to move on and to move forward. Queen of Wands in reverse, you're not taking any action right now. You plan to let this person work out what they need to work out while they're distancing themselves from you, while you're coming up with a game plan and also coming up with how you feel, what you want, and how you're going to go about it. It also feels like with this Queen of Wands in reverse, you may be open to dating new people or speaking to new people at this time period. So if new people are coming through to you, Scorpio, or if you're meeting new people, it feels as if you'll be open in that time period as well to speak to them. Now, where the energies are aligning from the 15th to the 30th, let's take a look and see what's happening here. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 15th through the 30th. Let's see where the energies are aligning. Hello, Ace of Wands. Wow. Oh my God, we're getting so many cards Follow Ace of Cups. Whoa. Look at all of this goodness, guys. Look at all this goodness. All right. You got the Ace of Wands to the Ace of Cups to the Knight of Cups to the Six of Wands to the Page of Cups. Jesus Christ. Look at you. All right. Now things are changing, okay? So person you're dealing with here on the other side, they are distancing themselves from you, cutting you off, cutting off the communication, working on themselves, balancing it out, and coming up with a game plan on how to fix this. As for you, Scorpio, you're in a period where it's like, well, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's over yet. You are kind of open to dating other people, and if other people come towards you, you're open to speaking to them. But you basically had a falling out here. So it wasn't way too drastic, because now where the energies are aligning and meeting is that you guys are moving towards a new beginning, because you both still love each other, and the feelings are still there, and the feelings are still present. Now, moving forward in the alignment, the Knight of Cups will happen. Therefore, a proposal of love is going to come. I feel like it's going to be a mutual energy, though. Now, whoever, pro whoever, excuse me, whoever proposes first more than likely will be the other person. But of course, it could be you. Regardless, though, it feels mutual. You're going to be sharing that love back and forth because you have a Knight of Cups and a Page of Cups. So one person comes forward with it. Now the other person receives it and gives it back. And then with the Six of Wands energy here as well is forward movement. So with the energies that are aligning here, I am seeing that you guys are working the situation out and you're showing each other love, appreciation, and affection and making a game plan to move forward with each other again. So it's a completely different twist, right? You're moving on from the past. You're moving on from the regrets from everything that happened right here and pushing forward now for the overall outcome that's happening here from the 15th through the 30th let's take a look at the overall outcome that's happening here september 15th through the 30th now in regards to the overall outcome that i'm seeing here yeah you guys are getting your confidence back look first of all wheel of fortune in reverse you guys had an unclosed uh cycle you know you guys still had unfinished business like i said over here you had that ten of wands in reverse or sorry you had that ten of uh, swords in reverse you weren't ready to even end the situation so overall you still have an unclosed cycle which means you have unfinished business now you guys are going to get back together and finish your karmic cycle and moving with this nine of pentacles energy too it feels like you're going to bring more confidence and more strength into the relationship to make it more lasting and to make it feel more better if that makes sense to you okay that's what i'm seeing here um along the lines i will say though there may be a moment in time where things are going to get good again but you have to be sure to be very communicative to each other and open to each other because there's a chance here because i'm seeing this nine of wands there's a chance here you guys may be emotionally unavailable try not to be detached okay show emotion show your love express if there's an issue here communicate okay so that you guys can move forward but with the energies that are aligning here it's something with positive energies i'm seeing forward movement between you both i'm seeing love between you both and i'm seeing a new beginning in love for you both okay so going from a period in a place where you both weren't talking you just had a falling out it's a complete turnaround. Anyway, Scorps, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If it resonates, let me know down in the comments below. I'll catch you guys later for your October reads. Take care and have a good one. Peace.